Greetings everyone, the good tonight here today with a review on the Modular Assault Vest by Tactical Taylor. Now this one particularly, I have put on the X-Harness attachment, so it's going to look a wee bit different than you might expect. So we'll start with the X-Harness because it's the one closest to the top. It is uh, vented, so it's got that mesh little material there, so it'll stay more breathable, it'll help take uh, some of the, uh, it's got more uh, surface area, so it takes a lot of the uh, weight off of the smaller strap portion. It's got a uh, 4x2. So what Molly sub on the back, so I've got my radio pouch attached back here. Up on the front there's a 2x2 two two if you need to attach anything, weave anything through there. So yeah, it fits pretty nicely. And all this basically replaces the standard straps, which will be fairly long in the back here and taped down and whatnot. So the clips come off and you clip this into the front up here on the actual MAV itself. Now the MAV portion, modular salt vest, it is 18 by 3 as far as Molly goes, so that gives you a good amount of, uh, of room to play with. There's plenty of material on the waistband, so if you need to fit over a play carry, if you're a bit of a bigger guy because you like the gym, any of those things, it can be adjusted to pretty much any weight and size. Now, I'm 5'9", I'm short, I have the camera set to make me look a bit taller so I feel better about myself, but being fairly short, I found that the, way, the only thing I've really ran into is that the uh, front portion up here I've got mine maxed out in tightness, and it's still just a little bit, a little bit slack. It doesn't fit perfectly, so uh, let's let's actually put this on. So all you gotta do is reach in through the back here, grab the shoulders, throw this on over your head, you wiggle in there, get everything set, and uh, there we go. And then you just gotta clip it in the back here, like so. Yeah. Yep. Super simple first try. All right, so get that set up. It fits, uh, fits nice and snug. It's comfy. You got the breathability, the uh, weight support from the widened shoulder straps. And yeah, so on the front here, you have a little mat pouch, which is basically just a Velcro divider between the two layers. So if you need to put documents in there, now there is no, uh, there's no, nothing in particular to stop it in the center. So you can put a document in there and slide it all the way down to the back end of one of the uh, sides. So that being said, it's fairly simple, it's comfortable, it's easy to use, it can be modified to whatever setup you need, and yeah, lightweight, which is the main th reason I got it, because be able to do things without always using a plate carrier. So with Tactical Tailor, you've got all the durability and everything you expect from them. It's comfy, it's uh effective and yeah it's a very simple and well designed uh salt vest completely modular so that's all there really is to it um i'm not sure if you guys have any questions the clips in here oh as far as colors come it comes in about five different colors there's a few of them that are more camouflaged i went with the uh the coyote brown but they do also have od black and all those other things so the actual MAV itself, with the simple cross straps, is only about $80, $81 or so. And the harness, I think, was closer to about $50. So, altogether, you're looking at about over $100. But if all you need is just the, uh, the, the chest portion to begin with, that's uh, inexpensive enough. But, yeah, so, I think the two go nicely together. I've contemplated going back to the simple straps, but it's, it's more, uh, more stress on the shoulders and it's... Uh, I don't know. I mean, I already, I already spent money on this, so it's cozy. I would definitely recommend one of these for the extra cushion and everything, so it's nice. Um, it's probably even more comfortable if you can break the 5'9 uh, threshold, so hey, if you can, better. Actually, if you're probably shorter than 5'9, it's probably going to be a bit of a pain. It might be better to stick with the straps. Up to you. Try it out. It's comfy. I would highly recommend it. It's part of the, uh, it's my alternative to a play carrier on some days, so. That's all I got for you guys. If you have any questions, just comment down below and I'll, uh, I'll do my best to answer them. Cheers!